Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go down first and then come out. Okay. On this cold January night, council members joined volunteers to hit the streets as part of the annual point in time count, an effort to get a rough snapshot of how many people are living without shelter in Montgomery County is a count mandated by the um, HUD and so you have communities continuum of cares from across the nation all going out in these last 10 days of January and um, trying to identify anyone in their community who is experiencing homelessness whether they're in a shelter or unsheltered. There is no greater need than our homeless population in Montgomery County and this obviously is a growing problem across the entire country but also here in our community. I'm proud of our efforts to date to try and house as many homeless residents as possible, but we know there's a lot more work to do, and I think there's value in seeing firsthand, hearing the stories, working with staff to better understand what's going on out there. Councilmember Albernaz was joined by several of his colleagues for the annual census. Hello? Last year, 647 people were counted as homeless, down 23% from 2018. Officials are hoping that trend continues. Tonight is not just going out on an individualized basis, but going out on a collective basis as a community, as a council, uh, and, and uh, as all of us, uh, to be able to make sure that we're not leaving anybody behind in our community and that every single person in our community is counted, counts, and is accounted for, and that we are doing everything we can once we know who they are and where they are to make sure that we're doing everything in our power to help them. The council members joined more than 100 volunteers combing the streets of Rockville for folks who might need assistance. I'm Craig and this is Evan. We're at the point in time count survey. Can you give us your full name? They were equipped uh, with supplies and here. offers of help. Some gloves, some socks, some chapstick, and then we've got a McDonald's gift card there. This night provides months. council members the opportunity to physically engage with the community's sure, so, most so vulnerable. Since, yeah. First and foremost, uh, do you communicate well in English? Yes. Okay. Have you ever blacked out due to alcohol or drug use? No. Have you ever been told you have a mental health condition or diagnosis? No. Okay. and get an understanding of what the county needs to do to provide support. You no, know, it's, it's one of those where if, if you're truly an elected official, it's about caring about your community. It's about caring about making sure that you're making a difference, um, th that you're actually making a change for the better. Uh, and the people who sign up for this job are not people who just want to have a person call them by a title and go in and sit on the dais. Nothing back here. These are people who want to see things happen for the betterment of our community as a whole. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Listen, thank you so much for completing this survey. God bless and we'll be in touch. The best education that we can receive as to how life is here in Montgomery County is by walking the streets and whether it's walking in a parade on a holiday or walking on a street in a sub-freezing evening in the middle of January, um, this is our community and the first-hand experiences that we witness and that we see is what really propels us to do our jobs and to make life better for everybody in Montgomery County. As the night wore on, more of those opportunities presented themselves. One that ended the evening on a positive note with council members helping a homeless gentleman in getting the attention he needed. The testament of a community is how it treats those at the dawn of life, at the twilight of life, and in the shadows of life. And tonight we're bringing a little bit of light into the, into the shadows, into the darkness, and trying to make sure that we bring everybody uh, into the part of Montgomery County that is so bright, that is so light, that does have uh, so much opportunity, but we realize that there are some who don't ha have access to that light, and that we want to make sure that we're uh, including everybody as, as we can. Reporting from Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy.